What's up, guys? All right. Have you ever ran into some knowledge that was so intriguing that you just absolutely had to tell someone, even though you knew it was probably going to get you in trouble? This is one of those times. Um, although... I'm not supposed to share with you what I'm about to share with you. The subject is far too intriguing, enlightening, and helpful for me to do anything but share with you the information. This is information on something called TA1. It's thousand Alpha 1. This is probably one of the most beneficial, revolutionary, and safe products that has ever been created, bar none except for maybe MSM plus C. Why do I say this? Because it's true. <laughs> Why else would I say it? Um, Thomason Alpha 1, TA1, is literally the... It causes the restoration of lymph lymphocytopenia and reversion of exhausted killer T cells, reducing mortality from <coughs> coronavirus. Um, that thing I cannot say, but not just the really not that dangerous virus, but all viral infections. Not just <laughs> the unspoken thing that I cannot say because they will take my video down. Um, it restores your CD4 and CD8 killer T cell numbers, reduces inflammation, helps with Lyme's disease. You know how hard it is to deal with Lyme? Um, suppresses tumor growth. Blocks steroid-induced apoptosis of thymocytes. It aids in removal of chronic infections. It's antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal. Supports eradication of unhealthy cells, including cancer. Helps with DiGeorge's syndrome. Protects cells from oxidative stress. Improves symptoms from chronic fatigue. Acute and chronic viral and bacterial infections. Uh, including but not limited to hepatitis B, hepatitis C, AIDS, HIV, sepsis treatment, hair regrowth, melanoma, heptocellular and lung cancers, renal disease, and reduces scar tissue. And these are all backed by studies. Signs. Like double blind control placebo studies why doesn't everyone know about this why isn't that the story on every news station on freaking earth you know why i know why because if you cure disease you don't make money it's over it is the treatment of disease that is the valuable, not the removal or getting rid of the disease. See, thymosin alpha-1 is a peptide hormone that is produced by your thymus gland. Your thymus gland is in its prime when you go through puberty, you know, when you can't get sick, when you eat pizza and you still remain lean and strong and when your body is at its peak, when we are born, the thymus gland starts working. It gets bigger and stronger and more useful, training your killer cells, your macrophages, and 
regulating your immune function to protect you against all disease, bacterial, viral, um, you name it. After puberty, the thymus gland starts to deteriorate and it turns into a fatty tissue. Why this happens, don't know. But it just seems to be what it is. Now, if one wanted to restore one's immune system, immune function, retrain and adapt the immune system back to where it's supposed to be, or let's say there's a new virus going around and you want it to go, hey, immune system, check this one out. I need you to notice that, train all my killer cells to identify it, kill it, and the macrophages to envelop it and get it out. That's what we're doing. That's right there. That one. Right there. That's what your thymus gland does, and thymus and alpha one is in charge of. Do you know it not only works with underactive immune systems, but overactive immune systems, re-regulating to where it's supposed to be, like you're in puberty. Um, it activates immune response of the toll-like receptors, TLR9, in immune cells, resulting in the, re in the augmentation of the Th1 um, thymine function, Natural killer cells increase and in antibody responses. It increases IL-10 producing regulatory T cells, which give feedback inhibition of cytokine production, hence um, dampening the immune response and preventing pro-inflammatory cytokine storms. Layman's terms. If you produce too much infl inflammation, like in your arteries that are causing you high blood pressure, or you're producing too much inflammatory response for whatever reason in an autoimmune disorder, it's not going to cause that to get worse by increasing your immune system, yet it's going to re-regulate and balance the immune system so that your body is prepared to fight anything. Even with autoimmune disorders and um, even with lowered immune systems, this is the balancer of immune function. Now, how important is our immune system? Think about it like this. When you die, how long does it take for you to start to decay or your body to? You have millions of bacteria and viruses and germs and things that are attacking you all the time. Your immune system keeps you healthy and it protects you against every single outside factor that tries to degenerate, degrade, break down, or destroy your body. It works so well that within minutes of dying, you start to decay. And within a few days, you're already stained. Your immune system is the most beneficial, complex, and amazing, literally, protector of human life there is. They will not ever make a chemical that can do half what your immune system does. But if you can keep it at its peak, re-regulating, retraining, and keeping it prepared to balance or keeping a homeostasis about the immune system, there is very few things that you cannot fight off. That is TA1. That is for thymosin alpha-1. Now, it has been studied to not only prevent <coughs> the thing I'm not supposed to say, but 
So much so that they decided to study it in elderly patients that have final stage renal failure. Those most likely to be hurt by a virus. And they have already found that it reduces their mortality. But it doesn't stop there. Y'all, this is the retraining of immune function. This right here is everything that TB500 wanted to be and almost accomplished, but it had done this. Now, the way that it is used in research, because this is a research chemical, it is not for human consumption, it is not to be eaten, it's not to be snorted, it's not to be banged, it's not to be insulfated, it is not to be used for procreation or any other use. It has not been evaluated by the FDA. It's not intended to diagnose, treat, prevent, or cure any disease. It is not to be gazed upon too long. It has not been covered by your homeowner's insurance. Geico don't know what the heck it is. And uh, you, you, you just research with it. it. It's a research game for research purposes in research laboratories or in your private research endeavors, whatever they may be. Now, if you look at the way it's used and what it's used for, generally speaking, you would use it for your research animal in subcutaneous injection. Soon there will be a nasal spray that comes out that you'll be able to administer without injecting because I know my fish frog monkey mouse saber tooth spider cricket hate some injections, okay? Um, but 1 to 1.5 milligrams every third day for two weeks for viral infections, HIV, cancer, hepatitis, um, B or C, immune or other... Um, Sorry. or other um, underactive um, immune disorders. 1.6 milligrams two times weekly for 6 to 12 months for HIV cancer hepatitis. If it's just for viral infection in general, then uh, 1 to 1.5. Now, may be used with conventional antiviral medications, it actually enhances the ability of vaccines to work more properly without side effects. No joke. Um, it's well tolerated with liver and kidney issues. In other words, it's not toxic and it's not going to screw everything up like most drugs do. You do not use it in those deliberately suppressed immune system. People who take immunosuppressants do not need this because it's going to offset that and re-regulate your immune system, making it work properly, even over your chemotherapy drugs that kill your immune system. It's that damn effective. This should be once every six months, I mean, there's very few that should not give this a try. It works so well at balancing the human immune system that in my research, with my research animal, which you should never do what I do, ever, 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 it even works as it has a neurocognitive effect of a clarity and a well-being to it that's just nice. But with just the knowledge of how this works and what it does in the body, taking this along with something like IS-3, which IS-3 has been proven to boost killer T and macrophage activity by up to 700% in as little as 7 to 10 days. This stuff is your most potent natural product for the increasing of the immune system. If you have an autoimmune disorder, you don't take that. You take that. But if you take that with this, with a regular 
average person that about once every six months and then this just you stay on this now that's not for human consumption i'm just saying in the future whenever you can use that this will be the alternative to that this is for those with a low immune system this increases in humans, killer T and macrophage activity by studies done on the ingredients used synergistically in this product. You could get that product for $300 buying everything separately. That is to be taken on an empty stomach twice a day. Now, if you have an autoimmune disorder and you need to balance, rebalance the immune system, allowing it to communicate properly, MPS 200X. This would also be beneficial this does what this does except for this works much faster and is a more potent way of doing it nonetheless creating homeostasis and balance in the immune system even when the patient may be older and may have lost the majority of the function of the thymus, this is going to give that balance back. Y'all, this is exciting on a health and wellness level, which is really what I was brought up to know. This is cool stuff. And this is a game changer in viral, bacterial, overall health and longevity. It would not surprise me if this did not work to strengthen the integrity of the DNA and telomeres simply by rejuvenating the body like exercise. If this was done along with intermittent fasting and these products over here, it would, it would not surprise me if it was not the next proven way to secure your DNA from degradation and extend life. One day, whenever, you know, it's approved for you to take, this is a peptide hormone. It's not a drug. I don't think they could even make it a drug because it's not toxic. But that is to be seen later. You can uh, get it for your research purposes at newsarms.com. Um, check us out. And uh, appreciate you. I enjoy bringing information like this to you. And any way I can help, there's my name. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment to help the algorithm or whatever. More than that, just tell people who need to know this. Because there's a lot of those out there. And we're here to help those who may need information like this, but cannot get it anywhere else. And I know this may get me in trouble and it may get YouTube on my... But at least I don't have to go to the grave saying I didn't try. And that means more to me than all the YouTube channels in the world. Anyway, hope this helps out. And if you've got any questions, feel free to email me, text me. There's my number. Um, Love y'all.